Hey, it's Chris with the customer success team at Xano, and today I'm going to talk to you about bypassing the form submission limit in Webflow. Sounds a little scary, but let me explain what I mean. So right now, if you have a form in Webflow and you want to take that data and pass it to your Xano database, you have to use something called a webhook. What a webhook lets you do is essentially connect Webflow's form submissions to an outside service, whether that be Xano or another backend of some sort. Now that works great, but the problem with using a webhook is it still counts against your form submission limit in Webflow. When a user hits that submit button, that form submission still goes to Webflow, so it counts against that limit. Now what we wanna do today is we want to just bypass Webflow entirely and make sure that when a user hits that submit button, it goes straight to Xano and we don't touch that limit at all. Let me show you what I mean. So I have a very basic Webflow project here with a simple form. I built this using Webflow's native form block. You don't have to use the native form block if you don't want to. If you would rather code your own form by hand and just use an embed, you totally can. It's 100% up to you. Uh, all we have here is a simple name and an email address field. We have our table inside Xano with a name and an email field. Now when you're setting up your form, you want to make sure that the IDs of each field match the names of those fields inside your Xano table here. You also want to make sure that those match in your API endpoint as well. So just taking a quick look at our endpoint here, it's a very simple post and post just means that we are taking this input and we are giving it back to Xano for it to work with in our function stack. Again, we wanna make sure that these names here match the names of our form field IDs inside Webflow. And then all we're doing is we're taking that input and we're adding that record to a table called form. So I've cleared my form just so we can start from scratch for the purposes of this demo. Uh, so let's go ahead and fill out the form. So my name is Chris and my email address is chris at xano.com. I'll click submit. And you can see it says, thank you, your submission has been received. Awesome. Now let's refresh our table. And you can see we have our record right there, chris and chris at xano.com. Now the way this is working is we do have some custom code on our page here. So uh, I'm not gonna walk you through specifically each step of that code, but we'll give you a quick overview. And of course, all the code you need will be in the description as well. Here's our code. And right off the bat, the most important thing that we're doing is we are stopping Webflow from paying attention to that form submit. And we're doing that with this single line of code right here. That's what makes it so that we can pass that data directly to Xano and it doesn't count against your form submission limit. And then we're just defining some variables here. We are putting the data from our form inside a variable. Uh, we're putting our submit button inside a variable so we can change that text when a user clicks on it. We are taking the form method and the form action. Now the method is essentially, am I getting data or am I posting it? And the action is the endpoint the URL that you get from Xano. And then we have a redirect, which is just where do we want our users to go when the form has been submitted? If you want them to go to a new page, you can specify that. And all of those are coming from Webflow. They're coming from right here. We have our method, we have our action, and we have our redirect URL. And the only other thing that's really happening here is we are turning the form data into something that Xano can interpret. And then we're showing the success or failure based on what happens after a user clicks the submit button. Now I do want to give a quick shout out to Samuel Gregory, the full stack agency on YouTube. He has a great video on how to take form data from Webflow and submit it to any backend. I did have to modify this code a little bit just to get it to work with Xano specifically, but this was a great help. So definitely check it out if you're interested. We'll have that link down below as well. Now, just as another example, let's say I want my users to be able to edit the records that I have in my table here. Let's say, uh, I'm a user and I want to update my email address. I wanna show you that as well. So there's a couple of things that are different here. We're specifying an ID, which matches the ID in our table. And then our custom code is a little bit different as well. So there will be separate code depending on whether you are just having users add records or if you are updating records that already exist. Uh, but let's go ahead, I just wanna show you this works. Let's go my name and my email. I have a new email, it's chris at newemail.com. We'll submit that. Submission has been received. And if we refresh our table, there is chris at newemail.com. 
Now, of course, I think it goes without saying that this was a very, very simple demo, a very easy example on how something like this can be achieved. What I really wanted to demonstrate here more than anything is the value of not having to use webhooks anymore. So let's actually take a look at our project settings here. And I will show you. We'll go to my integrations here. And you can see we have no webhooks. And if we go to our forms, you can see we have zero out of 50 form submissions received, which is exactly what we want. I know that there's gonna be a lot of questions that pertain to your own use case on how you can implement this. So definitely feel free to leave your questions down below. You can visit the Xano community and ask your questions there, or you can talk to us inside support chat. We're happy to help. I haven't gone over user authentication or anything like that. I know, just know that the big piece here is you can now have forms submitted in Webflow right to your Xano database without using webhooks and without going against your form submission limit. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, definitely let us know. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Xano content, and we will catch you in the next one.